Good morning everyone, it's Sally again here and today I want to tell you about uh, one of the most exciting experiences that I've ever had in my life. About 18 months ago I fulfilled one of my lifetime ambitions and that was to jump out of an aeroplane and uh, just showing you a picture here of, uh, of me just initially, literally just jumped out of the plane. This took place in Beckles Airfield in Suffolk and uh, a friend of mine, Jenny, uh, we were raising money for the British Heart Foundation. In fact, we managed to raise over 1,000 pounds for that charity. But this has made me think quite a lot about faith. And uh, I'm sure we're all familiar with the definition of faith from the beginning of Hebrews chapter 11, verse one says, faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. And that chapter in Hebrews goes on to list men and women from the Old Testament who demonstrated faith in one way or another. There were people like Abraham, who we were reminded of uh, when we did the Discovering the free, free Course on Sunday. We talk about how Abraham uh, was a risk taker. He was a pioneer. He was faithful and he was sacrificial. And uh, the way, in that way, he really informs uh, the way that we think as a church, the vision of our church uh, can be traced right back to Abraham. And the interesting thing that all of these people have in common who are listed in Hebrews chapter 11. Uh, it's a couple of things I noticed when I was reading it again. First of all, they were commended for their faith. Or in another translation, it says that they earned a good reputation. Second very interesting thing is it says in verse 13 that they were still living by faith when they died. In other words, they didn't necessarily see the end result of their faithfulness during their lifetime. And towards the end of the chapter, it says again that they had earned a good reputation, yet none of them received what had been promised. It really challenged me to think about these people living by faith and not seeing the fruit of what they were hoping for, what they were certain would happen. And at the very, very end of that chapter, there's an incredible verse. It says, God had planned something better for us so that only together with us would they be made perfect. Somehow it's as though the faith of every single believer across the centuries, across the millennia, is needed to bring together God's perfect plan. And so I want to ask you this morning, how is God calling you to exercise your faith at the moment? Is there a particular challenge ahead of you? Is there a decision that you have to make or a choice? Is he asking you to take a risk, to make a sacrifice? Does he want you to give generously in some way or does he want you to be a pioneer on your front line? When I uh, jumped out of the aeroplane, in fact, it, it was, you could describe it as a leap of faith, but it wasn't really a leap of faith. All I did was just step out of the plane and I found myself falling. I was strapped to this guy, Max, who's an expert parachutist. So I didn't jump alone. I put my faith in him and we are all invited to put our faith in Jesus. He's the best ever role model for faithfulness. And later on in the next chapter of Hebrews, chapter 12, it says we're encouraged to fix our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. And again, also in Hebrews, we find that amazing verse, let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess, for he who promised is faithful. He may be asking us to take a step of faith, but he is right there with us, taking that step right alongside us. 
So as we think about faith today, I want to pray for us. Let's pray together. Father, I want to pray for my brothers and sisters who are listening to this, wherever they are, whatever their circumstances. Father, I want to pray that you would increase their faith, that you would give them the gift of faith as you promise that your Holy Spirit gives. And I pray, Lord, too, that you would show each one of them what the next step of faith is for them to take. What are you calling them to do? What are you asking of them? And I pray, Lord, that as they take that step, that they would know the constant, reassuring, guiding, empowering presence of you with them every, literally every step of the way. I hope you have a great day and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye bye for now.